What is up guys? It's been a minute and welcome back to Tech Talk Vids. But today we're talking about the S24 Ultra, its latest update and where I've been with it long-term review style. So let's do it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And it has been my secondary phone for uh, months now. One of the things I truly enjoy, it's probably my favorite feature and one of the reasons I have not put a screen protector on this phone is that non-glare screen, man. Um, if, like, I'm telling you, it is probably one of the absolute best features I have seen on a phone. <clears throat> Having this phone a little bit over, what, three months? two and a half months, whatever it is now, going on three months. Um, I have to be honest, you know, it went from my primary phone to my secondary phone just because, you know, the OnePlus 12 has been the primary phone for obvious reasons, battery life wise. And that's one of the issues we have here where you can see I'm down to 15% already. And it's only five o'clock in the afternoon because I do use this phone ham wise i mean I, I go ham on this phone for editing videos and stuff on the go social media posts facebook instagram tiktok things of that nature outside of the battery life if this thing like if this thing even had slightly better battery life this would 100 percent be my primary device every single day the latest update that did come in from Samsung has made it faster and has greatly improved the battery life for me. And I'm going to talk about why I like this phone so much and why maybe you should get one. Price wise, it's not a big difference coming from, say, an iPhone 15 Pro Max to give you an example. Um, and in the OnePlus, while it is cheaper, this phone just has some features you're not going to get with OnePlus. And as much as I didn't think that the AI part of this device was important or that I would never use it, yeah, I, I was wrong. The AI features on this thing are absolutely amazing. Being able to do the circle and search or like hold and search on whatever it is that's on my screen has been invaluable to me especially in the car space when i'm looking for a car part or something along those lines it has made this phone absolutely precious to me and currently i'm using my s24 ultra about the same as my oneplus 12 so in the three months it's gone from my primary to my secondary to now they're about equal in terms of phones and it may end up going back to being my primary phone one of those reasons is this really right here the s pen that little device really sets this thing apart um that and a cool feature that they call decks to be able to be traveling right and i want to edit something i can actually open up luma fusion i have canva all the other stuff there but i can open up luma fusion use decks with luma fusion and edit on a 40 50 60 inch television with a keyboard and a mouse using decks directly it makes this thing in it's just it's just like having a laptop with me man it makes this thing such a great buy so three months later do i think the s24 ultra was a good investment a good buy yes I do. Uh, do I recommend you buy one with some of the trade-in deals and offers right now? Yes, I do. I mean, you can get, what, 600 bucks for a 14 Pro Max, 750 for a 15 Pro Max on these with another 150 off at Samsung. That's $900 off of this phone. And I think with the Gen 3 Snapdragon chip that's in it, you'd be able to rock this phone for at least two to three years as your primary content creation device, if you're into that, I can't say anything negative about the S24 Ultra. Outside of its battery life, which it is getting better with updates, update after update, the battery life has got better on this phone. It's still just not at the OnePlus 12 area yet. So 
take that into consideration. But anyways, there you guys have it. I wanted to give you guys my two and a half or three month, you know, long term review on the S24 Ultra. I'm not getting into a super long video with a bunch of B-roll and fancy locations. I just wanted to give it to you raw and direct. Pause. Oh, I guess we have to say no diddy now. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. And as always, stay petty, my friends.